Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be doing another look kind of inspired by an artist and inspired by a new song. So if you've been with my channel for a little bit, you'll know that I am a huge fan of Dorian Electra. I like love their music so much. And a few months ago, I actually did a video just inspired by Dorian's like signature look. And I kind of did a twist on it, made it my own, but I had so much fun just doing it. It's a very blush heavy look. So if you missed that video, I'll throw it up in the cards. And I bring that up specifically because it kind of led into this one. So there's a new song called Freckles by Curtis Waters that just came out. The single was released on January 28th, and the actual full album, Pity Party, comes out on February 14th, Valentine's Day. Curtis's team actually saw my Dorian-inspired look, and they said that they love Dorian. They were looking for makeup looks because the signature like song of this album is called freckles obviously but like the cover album art is just this really really cute picture of a girl with like red kind of copper hair and it's roughly chopped out and there's just like a very blush heavy look a very bright like orange lip and then there's red freckles on which is kind of similar to like the dorian look that i did so they reached out to me the team did and they actually gave me early access to the song before it was officially released and they asked if i would be interested in just doing a look and doing this kind of a video like this so this isn't sponsored in any way shape or form they just gave me access to the song i loved the song i think it's adorable <laughs> and i thought you know why not i really wanted to do this so that's what we're going to be doing today originally i wanted to do two looks because the actual album cover art is this picture right here which is just really cool like sky blue and white and he wears a um like a space helmet <laughs> throughout most of the song which i think it's kind of cute um, so I wanted to do like a blue look and then also do the look for like the freckles cover art but I don't have time to do it I need to get this out before the album actually comes out so I might just do another volume of this and maybe more looks inspired by music and whatnot but today I really want to be not like a hundred percent recreating but taking the freckles look and just kind of making it my own so before we uh <laughs> jump in go go ahead I'll have a link down below go listen to the song I actually think it's really cute it really hit me in a certain way just because some of the lyrics are really just like touching and nice especially um there's a part well like the, the chorus i really like it because it it talks about like the per the girl that he's really into and talking about like band-aids and scars but the line was all that you've been through but you're still here smiling i think you're so cool i don't know why i thought that was just so it was like juxtapositioning the like innocence of like a high school kind of relationship versus like now we're like I think most of us millennials are like adults <laughs> so I don't know I really like the song I thought it's catchy as hell so make sure you go listen to it and then come back here and we will start the look and I will also change my battery because apparently it's already dying thanks <laughs> So to get started for this look, what I want to do is start with the blush. The blush seems to be one of the main focal points here. And from the picture, it looks like a very hot pink kind of blush. So what I want to do, I have this BH Cosmetics uh, blush palette. And it's got like all of these really nice colors. So what I want to do first, to kind of build up a little bit of a base for the blush, I'm going to go in with these two kind of neutral colors. And then I'm going to build up with these two more hot pink colors. Because they look kind of similar to what is in the picture. And this is stained, but there isn't actually any blush on the brush. And to just confirm, yes, I do have my base done. All I did was foundation, concealer, just a little bit under my eyes, powder, and then I did my brows. Looking at the picture, I probably could have gone for lighter brows, but personally for me with my black hair and everything, I like a nice black stark brow. So that's just kind of what I went through, and that's where we're starting. So since her hair is down, you don't really see the blush past like right here, but... I don't know I think I'm gonna take it from here all the way out just I think that's how it looks I think it would look good like that and unlike the Dorian look uh, it doesn't go on the nose so the blush isn't actually gonna go onto the nose it's gonna stay under the eyes and then the actual eyeshadow it does look like she's wearing kind of a bronzy kind of look so we'll get into that a little bit later but I'm first gonna take these more neutral shades and just kind of start buffing them in it wouldn't help if I had my mirror out, but it's over here. <laughs> so, so prepared. So yeah, what I'm doing is I like to smile and like start at the apple and then kind of go back that way. And I try not to take it too down. You don't want blush all the way down like here. Yeah, I'm gonna take it all the way up into like my hairline. 
back here. And actually, I like the way it looks when I bring it a little bit closer to my eyes like that. So I'm going to bring it up just a little bit further. See, this is cute. So I look like I have a slight sunburn, which is kind of what we're going for here. Before I go in with the like more hot pink blushes, I'm just going to use a duo fiber brush and just kind of make sure that this is blended in. I honestly think the best thing you can do when it comes to blushes or any face powder product is just blend, blend, blend. And then blend some more. Cute. Okay, so now with the same blush brush, I think, do I, which one do I want to use? This one's kind of more purpley toned. So I think I'm going to stick with like the more pink toned one here in the bottom. Load up my brush and then I'm going to tap off the excess. And for this, I want to keep it like just on like the kind of apples part because I want it to be like a nice like blend from I would say deepest blush to lightest as it kind of like a nice blown out kind of blush look so I'm just gonna focus this here and not too much <sighs> cute so once more with the dual fiber brush I am just going to blend this out cute so I, it looks kind of e-girl at the moment actually <laughs> but i'm not mad about it really not so this looks cute it looks blended it looks like i just had a bad sunburn actually i want to take it up just a little bit closer to my eyes just there and there there we go okay so next i'm gonna do the dots so like the actual freckles so um, i do have freckles myself but of course i covered them up with foundation for this but I can see a tiny little bit. I did use a light cover concealer. So I think I'm going to use my natural freckles to kind of guide where I'm going to put these. But the one thing I want to do is actually use a red shadow. So I've got my Modern Renaissance palette here. I've got my Blood Sugar palette here, which I was going to use. But then I remembered Blood Sugar stains. <laughs> And while I'm okay with it staining, like, my eyelids, because I constantly wear eyeshadow, I think it's a bit different if it stains my cheeks. Especially if I'm going to be putting this, like, all over my nose and everything. So, I think I can actually get away with using this blush palette, because these deep reds are, like, deep on me. So, the dots look really small, so I'm just, like, looking at my brush collection. I think I'm going to try these three. So this is like a lip brush. This one is a spot liner and then this one is a luxe petite pencil. This one looks the biggest. So let's try the lip brush first. So I'm just going to dip it in like the deepest red shade. Tap off the excess. Okay, so that's not like as neat as I would want it to look. So I'm going to try the petite pencil so again just there this might help if i could hold up a mirror too so i can actually look kind of look like i have chicken pox so i'm gonna go for my smallest brush <laughs> this is from uh zoeva and this is the spot liner brush so let's try this is the smallest one that i have so let's oh there we go Oh, this one looks like freckles. Okay. I think since uh, I did go a little crazy on the nose, I'm going to take my powder, just my face powder, maybe a loose powder. I think a loose would work best here. I am going to just dot a bit of it over like the biggest <laughs> spots that I made like here and here. There we go. So I'm going to let that sit on like the most stark spots for a bit and then we'll wipe it away and it'll look not as stark. And then I'm going to use that same small brush and continue doing them just along the rest of my cheeks. Okay, I like that effect a lot better. So what I did is after I finished all the freckles, I basically went back in with my blush brush and just put a little bit more blush on top and then blended it out with my trusty duo fiber brush. And I like the effect. It's more blown out. It looks cute. Very e-girl, I have to say, but I like it. So let's jump into the shadow because it looks just kind of like a bronzy shimmer shade, like all over her lid and down to her lower lash line. That actually might be like a perfect color. So I was looking at the picture and I think I have a bronze here in my Jeffree Star blood sugar palette that matches pretty well what she has in her eyes and it's the shade donor up here. So 
I've already primed my eyes and it does look like it's just that one shadow. So I think I'm gonna try it with a blush or blush. I'm gonna try it with a brush first and see how it applies on. If not, I'll just have to like use my fingers and kind of blend out that shade on the lid. And I do think I'm gonna get fallout from this. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be too much. Okay, so my camera cut out <laughs> because I'm not having a good day with battery, guys. But I just finished applying that bronze shade all over my lid and brought it down to the lower lash line. And it's actually pretty cute. Especially for some of the hooded lids, I literally just brought it up to where, like, the hood meets my lid. And I left it there. I think this is really cute. The eyes are not the focal point here. It's definitely supposed to be the blush, so I think this actually worked really well. The only thing that I would change is I want... A little bit of highlight here. So I'm going to use my Dior highlight and just add a little bit to the inner corner. And then I'm also going to highlight just a little bit of my brow bone, just like right there. Okay, before I finish the eye look with just some mascara, because I don't see that she wears any eyeliner, I think it's just mascara, I looked through my collection looking for a lipstick that would best match this and I had a bright orange lipstick that I already decluttered in my last declutter week but I do have this kind of corally shade and I think if I just like apply it and like tap it out I can get the same kind of effect so this is from Fenty and this is the lipstick in unattached so I'm gonna take this it's a very pigmented matte formula and it looks like a glossy lip on her so I might have to go in with the gloss after but what I'm gonna do is kind of just tap it into the middle and then just kind of bring it all the way out so let's start here and then oh i like that effect okay so it looks really pretty i just got to clean up the lines a little bit because she does have some stark lines so let me use the lip brush that i was going to use earlier <laughs> and we'll use this to help us hopefully create some lines Ooh, okay i massively overdrawed my bottom lip uh her bottom lip is very full and well a it was an accident and b i just rolled with it but it doesn't look bad it really doesn't so i am going to throw some mascara on take down my hair and like zhuzh it up a little bit and then we'll be back for the final look Okay, so it's the final look. I actually, I like this like a lot more than I thought I would, especially with like the hair down. I like the bronzy eye with the blush. I, the only thing I really kind of could work on is the lipstick, maybe like with a neutral or a more bold kind of lip. I think with a black lipstick, it would look awesome. Ooh, that could look really nice, but I like this. <laughs> it's really cute. Ah, I'm, I'm really glad that I did this. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you go down and check out the song that this is based on, Freckles by Curtis Waters. And let me know down below if you want to see any more of these music-inspired looks and if there's any bands. Actually, spoiler alert, I'm going to do a My Chemical Romance one coming up because I couldn't get tickets to the show and I am still crushed deeply inside. But what better time to bring back the Gerard Way just like red smoky eye? It's now. It's, it's now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. The only thing I wish is that my hair was a bit more poofy. My hair is still drying, so it's not going to be as poofy, but I think if my hair had maximum poofiness, this would be cute as hell. Mm -hmm.